Hello everyone, welcome back here to Canning Farms and in today's video we're going to start with the grazing prep but before we do I just want to uh, show you this bit that John's been working on. So he's up here with the digger and look at the job he's made of this paddock. So this is the bit I was on about that I wanted to have as a bit of rough grazing or uh, even I was going to maybe fence it off along here and even wood chip it. I was going to go the whole way back there but that kind of slants off so there's no point. And there's a lot of room there from that corner all along here to the beech trees, over along there, and I can just use the fence here, obviously. So just throwing a water trough here when it's finished, but look at the way he left it, like, unbelievable. He also took that big dirty bank that was in front of the cattle shed there, letting a bit more light and air down into the cattle in there, and yeah, done a great job. So the reason why I want this paddock is because it's always handy, even though the land is very close to the yard, I've nothing actually, I have a little, uh, little field behind the yard, but nothing where I can put an animal that's sick or something like the Dexter when she calves that's out of the way. So what I'll do now is just let this settle a bit, seed it now in a couple of weeks, and pick the worst of the stones off it. But he just done an unbelievable job, like, that's unreal. Like, considering the amount of stumps and everything that was in here. So we've gained maybe an acre, an acre back, so fair play to him. Hope you can hear me down here because it's a bit windy, but uh, this is just what I'm doing here. So the fence is here. My uncle's cat, uh, cattle got in there during the winter and they kind of just wandered their way through the fences. Nothing too much, just run the wire. Uh, it only came out of the eggs at the end, so it's not like it's broken. And then any of these clips that are broken, uh, just fix them. At least with the clip expense, it's handy enough to uh, put it back up and repair it when you need to. So the way I set the quad up, or set it up, you'd swear, I, I do this for a living or something. But uh, the way I just put the stuff in the quad is anything that I use the most goes in the front. So your snips, bits and that sort of stuff. And then your insulators up front, wire for running in between gaps, uh, screws for any uh, of the gate latches. And then the back then, uh, ratchet traps that I shouldn't need too often, new gate. Uh, I like to use these things here that they're the, you know, you can put your handle into and put the wire onto that. So I find them better than just hooking it onto the wire. Then I have extra wire, extra posts. Uh, some wooden posts I picked up on the way. Uh, those hexagon ones just lasted, but they kind of wobble in the ground and uh, kind of come out. So what we'll do now is we'll get into this. There's just one thing I've noticed here I'll show you. Any time the wire is down, I've gone over to the egg. And I don't know if you can see that, but the egg is, or whatever this is called, I call it a fencing egg, but it's like split down along here. And the old ones never would have done that. The old ones would have actually taken the wire off the post. So it goes to show you that if you have any old ones left over, they're the way to go. So, uh, people are saying to me like, you must get some of this Clipex for free or something because you're always on about it and I, I, I actually don't. And Clipex, if you're watching, send me some free stuff. But uh, just because you make a video about it on YouTube and about a thousand people might watch it, which is nothing in the grand scheme of things. People think that you get stuff for free and you don't, but Clipex I spent about, I suppose, all in all, I suppose we spent about six or seven thousand on it. And you might be wondering why I'm bothering, like, using it when you have to fix it up again afterwards or whatever, but that was my own fault. I left the electricity off on it and the cattle went through, so that's my fault. And the best thing about it is that all the fence posts are still up. It's just a matter of hooking up the wire, and even at that, like the wire's tight enough, it just needs one or two notches on the strainer and away she goes. But that's the reason why I like it. These clips as well seem to be dur durable enough. Not too many of them are broken, the wire came out. So there's a bit of give in them. Uh, so a few people have asked, uh, is there any negative points about the Clipex fencing? And the one thing I would say is that, uh, and it was brought up at a farm walk here, and it's actually very true, is that whenever the insulator gets cracked, if that wire comes out and is touching the metal fence, then it's going to short the whole fence. Unlike the timber that just takes a bit out of it, um, your your actual metal fence is going to short it. So that's the one thing that you kind of have to keep an eye on is you have to keep an eye on your fences all the time um, to make sure that they're not actually um, to make sure that they're not short now. So what I've done. 
So what I've done here is I'm starting to put in uh, gates in between the paddocks because I was it was too awkward bringing them onto the walkway and down and one would go out and then the other one would be running up and down the fence. So just put in wherever the awkward spots are, I'm just going to put in gate posts here. So this is what I like to use um, as like where the gate goes into, where the gate handle latches onto because I used to use them uh, egg things before but they kept breaking on me so it comes in a pack like this. Just put your bolt through here. And then you just put on your two little boltings on the bottom so there's enough for two strands of wire in each pack put that on and then what you do then just screw it onto your post then so all you do now is just screw this onto your post wherever you want it uh, I use screws rather than nails for obvious reasons screws will just hold in better and just use an impact driver there and slide them in and um, I'm using these screws as well with sort of they have a bigger head on them. I think they're 6.0 by 70s there in the pack. Um, the reason being is that you don't need a washer then with them. <laughs> with oh, and that's it. So for gate handles then, uh, what I like to use is the one with the spring on the inside with the coil on it. It's actually cheap and cheerful. I bought these last year. They were supposed to be a bit more expensive, but look at that. They cannot take any sort of abuse at all. And I mean every single, this loop here is too big and the wire pops out. And that thing there, just any bit of pressure at all on it and it gives. Um, so I like to use these because even if the spring gives out, this might pull way out, but at least you can wrap the wire around it if you need to and it'll get you through that evening. Whereas them ones are a total disaster. Stay away from them ones. Next job then is have this black wire on the front of the quad. It's the underground wire. So what I do there is just nip enough off there for bringing the electricity from one side to the other. Choose my knife then, just shave off the end. So wrap one end in through your one of the holes there and that latch you just screwed onto the post. And then I just stick it through the fence and egg so if it gets pulled it won't come off. And then I just wrap it around this wire, the top wire, and that'll bring electricity then from the fence beyond the gap here and back over. What I'll also do as well is I'll run some of that black cable along the ground. Uh, I'll bury it underneath the gap and bring it up onto the bottom um, wire there just so the electricity, even when the gate is dropped. Um, so that's it then, just stick a staple in here so this doesn't move and that's your gates in.
told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away So now that is all the internal fencing fixed up and done now so what I did down here as well is uh, just ran that last bit of a fence there and that time lapse. Uh, we just didn't do that. I cut this for silage last year, so I didn't bother partitioning it, but it's for grazing this year. And then all on the internal fences, I ran two strands of wire as well because this fence out here, as you can see, isn't up to much. So uh, next couple of weeks, I know videos have kind of been a bit sparse and I said I'd try and get more out. And uh, they've been kind of a bit sort of samey samey uh, but that's what goes on here uh, it's a bit of a routine but this paddock we're in here now down in this bottom section here this is the section that i want to overseed so plan through that now in a couple of weeks time i'll show you how we're going to do that i'm going to do it myself rather than get someone else to do it this year so we'll just diy it and hope for the best uh, and as well as that, um, just went over 5,000 subscribers, so I just really want to say thanks to everybody who does watch, uh, who does follow and all that and support and all that. Uh, look, it's, uh, it's nice to see that sort of climbing and uh, I don't know why anyone watches, but thanks very much anyway. So, like I said, next couple of videos are going to be a bit busier now in the next couple of weeks. Hope, fingers crossed, the weather is better. We have uh, new cattle coming in next week, uh, or the week after, so we'll show you them when they arrive. We have a bit of overseeing. Quad still has to be serviced, we'll do that at some stage. But we'll leave it at that for today, it's too much fencing for one day and one video. So again, just want to say thanks to everybody, and sure, we'll see you in the next one.